Well, hello again. I'm getting the hang of these daily videos. Look how cold it was this morning. Shoo! -woo! That's cold. Um, I've decided I'm not going to go spend hours in the office. I'm just going to run down there and grab a few things that I need. Uh, maybe talk to you guys a little bit about some things that are on my mind. And uh, come back here to the house and do the rest of my work. I've tried to make one phone call today. i got to make two more phone calls, three more emails, um, trying to uh, get up with people and talk about partnerships. Um, so on that last outing, my battery died. You can tell I've changed shirts. We've been back at the house for a few minutes. I'm going to go run errands. I need to check the mail, do all that type of stuff. But um, I wanted to share with you a thought that I've been having uh, concerning church planting. And if you're a pastor of a church and you watch these, don't take this as a uh, as a slight in any way. It's just a reality that I'm understanding that I wished I had uh, done better beforehand. Um, and that is uh, my prayer life. Uh, we had some events happen this past year in our life that really drove me more into praying. Uh, but church planting really is uh, is uh, keeping my prayer life active. I actually picked up a shell that uh, that I liked when we were down at the beach, and it's like a a prayer shell. I use it to remind me to pray for all the things that are going on, and. Uh, the reason I think that happened is because, or it is happening, and and some of the church planners I know spend a lot more time in prayer than pastors that I know. And the reason for that is, once a church is established and going, a lot of the processes keep things going. And so, in some ways, we become less dependent on God. Uh, we see that throughout Scripture. We see that in Israel. We see that in some of the earlier churches. But it's a real reality. And so, um, I wish that's something I'd learned a little bit sooner. I knew the importance of prayer. I'd done Bible studies through prayer. But in some ways, there was less urgency to pray. It was almost like prayer is important, but um, we see it as a last resort. I hate that cliche, but it's it's sometimes true. There's, I got nothing else to depend on but God, so I might as well pray, which is not true. Um, I'm doing everything I can logistically and practically uh, when it comes to church planting, but I'm also spending quite a bit more time in prayer over the whole situation. I've mentioned it before, but uh, one of my struggles in the ministry has been um, that ministry doesn't feel like work. Um, just how I grew up and uh, especially the culture we live in out here, uh, if you're not uh, expending physical energy, you're not working. And so coming to grips with the idea that if mental work is work and in the ministry, prayer is work. So spending hours uh, in prayer and studying the Bible is actually very uh, taxing and, and is work. So, you know, that's one of the things I'm really going to be focusing on here, uh, especially for this church plant. Um, not because I feel a sense of, um, of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's not like I'm, I'm desperate. And, and saying, I have nothing but God, but because I, I see that sense of, um, of dependence on Him a little bit better right now than I, than I did when we had, when I was working, you know, just for the church and, and had some systems set up and there were some things that were in place that I knew were going to happen. Uh, I still spent quite a bit of time in prayer. I used to sit in my office and uh, I, I'll still do this when I get opportunities sit in my office and close my eyes and pray for each person that was there on Sunday. I'll pray through the pews and, and how everybody was sitting. I uh, spent a good bit of time in prayer, but there's there's something different about it now, and I'm not exactly sure how to explain it. So 
Um, well, there it is. Tomorrow's uh, topic is going to be one of the reasons um, I really feel uh, passionate about being full-time uh, in planting the church. Uh, we're going to go help uh, somebody here in town that's a church member that I can do something for them and I don't have to be tied to a job. I can actually go serve them. Uh, I'll explain more about it tomorrow. See you then.